right, y'all, welcome. I'm Jennifer. Can everybody hear me? Okay? Bless you. Thank you. Okay. So let's lay back on our backs. And let's start with some pranayama, some breath work. So you can either bend your knees or you can leave your legs out straight, whatever's most comfy. Rest your hands down by your side and take some deep breaths in and out through the nose down into the belly. Breathing nice and deep. Asking the nervous system to calm down and relax the body and prepare for our physical practice. Fully expand the belly up to the sky, and when you exhale, pull the belly button into the spine, even pressing the lower back down towards the earth. Try to keep your chest still when you breathe, so try not to let your chest rise and fall. We want to stay mostly in the parasympathetic nervous system, that nervous system that tells us we're safe and we're okay. Starting to expand the breath up into the chest. So fill up belly, then fill up chest. Exhale, empty chest, empty belly. some gentle movement so let's go ahead and reach our arms up above our head and let's go ahead and extend our legs out straight and do a good morning stretch big stretch reach big stretch take a big breath in on your exhale bring your knees into your chest give yourself a hug rock a little bit and massage your lower back into the earth say hello to your hips how are your knees feeling this morning How about your feet and your ankles? Roll your feet and your ankles around a little bit. Now find stillness and take a deep breath in and hold on to your knees, either on top or underneath them, whatever's comfortable for you, each person's different. And on your exhale, bring your nose into your knees and squeeze yourself in really tight. So now you're squishing your internal organs, but maintain that deep breath. Even though it's difficult, we continue to breathe deep. We continue to nourish and relax the body. And release. Plant your feet firmly on the earth. And let's, um, we're going to start with a little core strengthening because we do need core strength to be able to do the postures that we're going to do. So let's interlace our fingers behind our head just for support. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, bring your nose up to your knees in a crunch. Inhale down. Exhale up. 
So whatever you want to do is good. If you want to keep your feet flat on the earth, you can do that. If you want to bring your knees in when you do your crunch, you can do that. Whatever gives you the most challenge and strengthens your body the most. So you don't pull on your head, just support the head. Make sure you have a good space between your chin and your chest. On your exhale, when you lift your chest, push your belly button into your spine, push your lower back into the earth. Now, if you want more of a challenge, can you extend your feet up to the sky and hold them there? Can you lift your tailbone off the earth to continue your crunches? Maybe you extend your arms out straight and you touch your toes when you do this. Exhale when you lift, inhale when you come down. Listen to your body and honor your body. What's best for you? Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself some loving. Notice how the body feels and catch the breath. Slow the breath down. Gently roll the knees over to the left side for a little bit of a twist. Just saying hello to the low back and the hips and the shoulders and the upper back. Come on up to center. Let's do the other side. Rolling on over. Taking some deep breaths in. Noticing the difference in each side of the body. Some things we can change and influence. Some things we can't. Only time will tell. Inhale back up to center. Bring the knees into your armpits. So place one hand on top of your knee. The other hand on top of the other knee. Pull the knees into the armpits. So like a happy baby. Good, and then we do an actual happy baby. So bring your elbows inside your knees, put your feet up towards the sky, and hold on to the outside of the foot, and then pull the knees down towards the earth. Soles of the feet shine up towards the sky, rock a little bit from side to side. Perfect. Holding on to the feet, Vata Konasana, bring the soles of the feet together, the knees go out wide, Pull the soles of the feet towards your head. Can you lift your head up towards your toes? Pull in tight, rock a little bit. Soles of the feet are now touching. And release, good. Let's roll over onto our side. So roll over onto one side. I don't care which one you do. Everybody can be different, it doesn't matter. Let's let your body guide you. So now that top leg. Bring that top knee into your chest, hug it into your chest with your arm. Hug it in nice and tight. Hug it in tight, good. There you go. Now take your hand and hold on to your foot. No matter how you have to get to it, it doesn't matter, just get a hold of it. Good, now extend that leg up to the sky. That's what it is. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go, that's it, yeah. Everybody's gonna hold on to it differently. Yeah, get a hold of the foot. Oh, there you go. There you go, yeah, okay. yeah. So everybody, some people reach behind, some people have to reach in front. Everybody's a little different. Now extend that leg straight up. Can you straighten the knee? Try not to roll over on your back. Stay on your side. Where do you feel the stretch the most? Tune into the body. Breathe. Pushing the heel towards the sky. Pulling with the hand. One more breath. And release. Good. Let's do the other side. So roll on over to your side. Pull the knee into your chest first. Give yourself a hug. Good, release your hug. Now hold on to the foot. So figure out how you need to get a hold of your foot. Everybody's different. Extend the leg up to the sky. Got it, good job. Press the heel to the sky, stretch the leg. Notice the difference in this stretch in this side compared to the other. Breathe deep, keep lifting the heel to the sky. Keep pulling with the arm. The arm is strong. It's not just being pulled away by the leg. It's offering resistance to the leg. And release. Rest on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Alright, roll on over. Let's come up to table. Let's come up to hands and knees. 
are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips, feet are right behind your knees, inhale, look forward, drop your belly, pull shoulders back, exhale, tuck chin, round your back, inhale and exhale, back and forth, getting lots of good movement through the spine. All the way from the top of the head down to the tip of the tailbone. So the posture we're going to work on today, keep doing your cat cows, is warrior three. So it, it, it requires a lot of core strength and a lot of back strength. So let's use the muscles that we're going to use for warrior three. So come back into center and then engage Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor, and flatten out your back. Now let's go ahead and extend our left leg back behind us and then point through the ball of the foot. So the leg is lifted, the ball of the foot like you're standing on your tippy toes. Now check your back. Did your back sag? Pull the mula bandha in, your pelvic floor in, and flatten out your back. Hold here. Now can you lengthen right arm forward? Now get as long as you possibly can. So I'm pulling your fingers forward and pulling your foot backwards. Get long. Breathe into the belly. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Release. Good job. Shake it out a little bit. You can cat cow a little bit or wiggle. All right, let's do the other side. So lengthen right leg back, point to the ball of the foot, and then lift the leg. Engage Mula Bandha. Flatten out your back. Now lengthen through the leg, lengthen through left arm. Get long, really long. Breathe. One, two, three. Be strong and still. Four, five, and release. Child's pose. So bring big toes together. Sit on your feet, bring your arms forward, forehead to the earth, unless if your forehead doesn't reach the earth, stack your hands and uh, rest your forehead on your hands. Try to press your hips into your feet and get a good stretch through your legs and through your lower back. Okay, shift back into our um, table so we can do our quadruped again. <clears throat> so plant your hands nice and firmly and then let's lengthen the left leg back behind us. Now go ahead and let's uh, lift the, the toes off of the earth. Now let's go ahead and lift the left hip up. Let, it, let the left hip rise up, even look over to the left. So notice what that feels like. That's not what we want in Warrior Three. What we want in Warrior Three is bring the hip back down. See if you can figure out where level is with the sacrum. So a nice flat table. Hold there, be strong. Can you bring right arm forward? Breathe, one. Pull in belly, two, three, four, five, six. Very good, release. Shake it out, shake it out, wiggle it out a little bit. Let's do the other side. So find grounding first. Find your connection. Right leg goes back. Lengthen it back. Now lift right hip up. Bring it up to the sky. Even look to your right. Notice what it feels like to get out of alignment. Now bring it down. Flatten out the pelvis. Make that table. Breathe deep. Reach the left arm forward if you want to. Hold one. Two, three, four, five. Good, relax. Back in the child's pose. Now, if you do down dog and you want to take down dog, you can do that. Whatever is most comfortable for your body. Find some slow, deep breaths.
skips forward onto your belly. Let's press up into our first cobra. So come all the way down onto your belly. Put your hands by your rib cage. Lengthen your legs out straight. Hands are by your ribs. Pull your elbows down and back as though someone's pushing your elbows down towards the earth. Inhale, lift your heart into your cobra. Peel yourself up as though you're putting the top of your head on your tush. Lifting up, now pull the elbows down and back and imagine someone has their hand right on your tricep and they're pushing it into the earth. Breathing deep, one, two, lift your chest, squeeze shoulders down and back. One more breath, good, relax, relax. Bend your knees, windshield wiper a little bit. All right, let's come back into table and we're gonna use down dog to get to standing forward fold. Curl your toes under, lift your hips, look forward, take a breath, and walk your feet forward all the way to your hands. Bend your knees, rest your belly on your thighs, and just hold on to your elbows and rock from side to side a little bit. So make sure your back is comfortable with what you're doing. If your back is uncomfortable, bend your knees a little bit more. Let your head hang. your arms down. Inhale, let's come up, touch the sky. Exhale, heart center. Perfect. Feet are hip width apart, Tadasana. You're at the top of your mat. Press your feet evenly into the earth, soft knees, tailbone comes under. Inhale, let's reach up as high as we can. Reach up, touch the sky. Exhale, palms together at heart center. This time when we go up, we're gonna go into the index and thumb goes up like this, interlace your fingers. You're gonna interlace, can you see me, Rebecca? You know what I'm talking about? So uh, interlace your fingers and then point your index finger up and your thumb up. There you go. Inhale up, interlace, reach. Reach to that index finger. Exhale, back down to heart center. Now we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, reach it out. Index finger up. Exhale, reach it forward, forward fold, reach, 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 reach. All the way down, release the grip. Fold down, can you bring your hands to the earth? Bend your knees if it makes your body more comfortable. Inhale, come all the way back up, lead with your heart, reach your arms out all the way up. Exhale, heart center. Okay, Suri Namaskar, A. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fold it all the way down. Plant your hands on the earth. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, push your belly down and flatten out your back. You got it. Exhale, step back into plank, no matter how many steps it takes. This is a high plank with your knees up. You can put your knees down if you want to. As long as your tush is in line. Tush shouldn't sag or poke up. Good, breathe deep into the belly. Look forward. Now everybody, let's lower our knees. Everybody lower your knees because it's easier to do chaturanga unless you've got a good strong chaturanga. Keep your hands and your shoulders in line. Look forward, squeeze your shoulders together, bend your elbows, lower your chest and your hips at the same time. Elbows point back. Good, look forward, good, good, good. Inhale our cobra. Cobra, cobra, good, hold there, hold, point your toes. Point your toes, breathe into your belly. One, point those elbows backwards. Don't lock them. Two, good. Now press back into either child's pose or down dog. Take your time, go to table. Good, and then go back to whichever one you want, child's pose or down dog. Whatever you feel like you need. Breathe into your belly. Now if you're in down dog, lift the hips up to the sky, press the heels down. Press through the pad of every finger. Look at your belly button. Perfect, okay, if you're in child's pose, go ahead and lift your way up into down dog. Take a deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, step your feet all the way up to your hands. Standing forward fold. Good, find your version of this, what's best for your back and for your legs. Inhale, come all the way up, touch the sky. 
side. Exhale, heart center. Good. Pause. Check in with your body. Check in. See how you feel. Good deal. Okay, let's do warrior three. Inhale, reach up. And then index and thumb together. Exhale, reach forward, fold. Bring the hands to the earth. Keep them on the earth, bend the knees, it's okay. Inhale, look forward. Send that left leg back behind you. Point to the ball of your foot, just like we did in quadruped. Lift the leg up. Toes don't touch the earth. Lift them up, lift it up. Lift the leg up, uh -huh, you got it, there you go. Warrior three. Try to straighten the leg you're standing on. Try to lengthen through the ball of the foot. Can you send your right arm forward? Breathe, one, two, three, good release. Come back to standing forward, fold. I know the earth starts shaking when we lift our arm. Good, inhale, come up, touch the sky. Exhale, heart center. Check in. Upside down is tough. If you have high blood pressure, if you have stroke history, things like that, um, it, you probably don't wanna do it that way, coming from a, a low like this. I'm gonna show you another way too. We're actually gonna do it from standing. But first, we're learning it this way. If it gives you a headache, if you have challenges like that, you do it from standing. You just go ahead and do it that way, okay? But we're all gonna work our way towards that. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Hands to the earth. Inhale, look forward. Right leg goes back, warrior three. Send that leg back. Now, keep, remember to keep the pelvis in line because that hip is gonna raise up because it's gonna cheat. It's gonna raise up and try to make life easier. Keep it lower, make life more difficult there in that posture. Straighten that leg you're standing on. Look forward, can a left hand come forward? Breathe, one, two, three, four, five, good, release. Standing forward, fold, inhale, come up, touch the sky, exhale, heart center. Perfect, perfect, shake it out, check in with the body. Namaskar A. Feet are hip width apart. Inhale up, touch the sky. Exhale, swan dive it down, fold. Hands are on the earth. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back into plank position. Good. Get your shoulders right over your hands. Important nuggets of information for Chaturanga. You gotta look forward. Don't let your head hang. You gotta squeeze your shoulder blades together. And you gotta lower your chest and your hips at the same time. Go ahead and lower your knees. Now look forward. Think of pulling your chest forward towards the river. Lower your hips and your chest at the same time. Keep those elbows by your side. Don't do this. By your side, lower all the way down. Go ahead, all the way down to the earth. Look forward, good. Inhale, Cobra. Lift your heart, point your toes, push your chest forward, bring those elbows back, bring the top of your head back towards your tush. Mind the neck, how's the neck feel? Don't hurt the neck. Breathing nice and deep. Exhale, either child's pose or down dog. Take your time, pause and table if you feel like you need to. In child's pose, put your arms where you feel best. Where do you feel the most relaxed? In down dog, tuck your chin nice and strong. Strengthen up your shoulders. Pull your shoulders into your armpits a little bit more. Lift your tailbone a little higher. Press your heels down. Lift your toes. Everybody in child's pose, make your way to down dog. Look forward, inhale, exhale, step or hop your feet forward, standing forward, fold. Inhale, come up, touch the sky. Exhale, heart center. All right, let's do uh, warrior three. So inhale, reach the arms up, interlace the fingers, index and thumb pointed up, reach up as hard as you can. Shift your weight into your right foot. 
Now start to just lift that left leg. Keep the knee straight and lean forward. And send that left leg back behind you. Go as far as you can go without falling. Come to a T is what we're shooting for. Don't let your hip raise up. One, you got it. Two, get longer. Three, if the toes have to stay on the earth, that's okay. Three, good. Four, five, good. Inhale back up and release. Good deal. So when you're doing it, it's okay like if, if you have to keep your toes on the earth. And it's okay if you can't even hold this position. Like if you feel like this is a better warrior three for you today, you just do it. Listen to your body, okay? It's all the same posture. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up, touch the sky. Interlace fingers. Index up. Shift weight to the left foot. Exhale, warrior three. Lift that right leg back and behind. Woo, earth is shaking. Go find your version. One, don't let the hip raise up. Two, lengthen the body. Three, you've got it. Connect to the earth. Four, five, with grace and ease, release the posture. Good job. Shake it out. Shake it out. Check in. forward fold. Pause. Inhale, look forward, flatten out your back. Pause. Exhale, step back into plank. pose make your way to down dog take a deep breath exhale step your feet forward to your hands come into a standing forward fold inhale look forward flat back exhale fold inhale come up touch the sky exhale heart center inhale the arms up interlace index up Weight in the right foot, exhale, warrior three. Lean as far as you can. Try to get your body into a T. Keep the left hip down. One, two, lengthen, get stronger. Three, four, five. Inhale up with grace and control. Exhale, fold. Inhale up, touch the sky. Interlace the fingers, weight of the left foot, exhale, warrior three. Beautiful. One, get longer. Two, straighten the leg you're standing on if you can. Three, four, five, release with grace. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold even deeper, really stretch out the hamstrings and see if you can bring the rib cage down to the earth. So really pull the head down, pull the rib cage down towards the earth. Take a deep breath. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, heart center. Perfect. Very good, y'all. 
let's go to the mat. Come to seated. Nice. I think something bit me on my tummy. <laughs> I can't stop scratching here. So move your tush out of the way. Sit bones go all the way down. Press knees down. Point through the ball of the foot. Inhale, lengthen and lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward and bring your rib cage, your heart to your feet. So mind the back. If the low back hurts, bend the knees or back off or just explore and see what you need to do so that you can get the stretch in the hamstrings in the back of the leg as opposed to pulling so much on the back. Breathing really deep. Every exhale, you offer the heart to come forward a little closer to the feet. One more breath. Good. Inhale, come back up. Okay, so on our reverse plank, we have a couple of options. The less difficult way is to bend your knees, put your feet flat, hands or fingertips point toward your hips, and they're on the earth behind you and you lift your hips. That's the less difficult way. If you want more of a challenge, you extend your legs out straight, squeeze your knees together, point your toes, and then you're gonna, same thing, lift and drop the head back, but you're rolling your feet together, putting the soles of the feet flat on the earth and squeezing your knees together as hard as you can. So make your choice, what do you feel like doing today? Take a deep breath in and then lift. Breathing into the belly. One, if your legs are straight, roll those knees and thighs together as tight as you can. Point your toes. Two, three, lift your chest. Four, five. Good, and release. Nice work. Bend your knees, relax a little bit. Roll over your knees. Good deal. Okay, so now let's extend the legs straight. <clears throat> Now we're gonna come into uh, like a, a little halfway side stretch. So we're gonna bring the left foot into Janu Shirshasana, into a tree posture here. And what we're gonna do is rotate our pelvis towards the left. So now our chest and our pelvis is pointing towards the left. Our right leg is still going out towards the center of the mat. Okay, now make sure that your left knee is happy with what you're doing. Back off if it's not happy. Put a little more of a dorsiflexion in the foot, like take the crinkles out of the ankle, like that, on the left foot if you need to. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, bring right hand down. Can you get a hold of that right foot? Can you get a hold of it? If you can't, just let it land wherever it lands. Now, can you bring left arm up? Open your heart up to the sky. And then can you bring it over and try to get a hold of the right foot? That's it. So. What we're focusing on is turning the heart to the sky. Thanks. Turn the heart to the sky. Then bring the arm up first, and then we do over. So get deep into that back area, the side body area there that gives us so much trouble when we have back pain. Breathe into the belly. We get a deep stretch in the leg. Good, one more breath. And release. Strong work. Hold the position, don't change anything. Just bring your left hand over to right knee, right hand goes behind you, kick stand, let's twist. Breathe into the belly. Good, let's release, let's do the other side. So now left leg goes straight ahead, right leg, Janusha Shasana, and then bring it on around, open up your pelvis and your, and your chest to the right. Left leg is strong. Inhale, lift, exhale, bring left hand to left foot. That's the direction we're shooting for. Okay, now right arm goes up first. Now open your chest. So rotate so that your chest shines to the sky. Your throat shines up to the sky. Now exhale, reach over. Keep your, your heart lifted. Don't let your body roll forward. And keep reaching up and over towards that left foot. Breathing deep, one. To get into those spots that give you trouble there on your side and in your hip and in your back. Two more. One more. And inhale, release. 
Good. Bring right hand over to left knee. Left hand goes behind you. Take stand. Twist. the feet together, Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Let's bring our heels in close to our hips. Can you open your feet up like a book? Like the soles of your feet are the pages of a book? Now sit up tall. Hold on to your feet, your toes, whatever. Now use the muscles, <clears throat> the muscles in your hips to pull your knees down. Sit up taller, press those knees down. Inhale, lift, exhale, Fold, bring elbows into rib cage. Bring your chest forward. Breathe deep. One, two. So think about getting the throat or the chin to the earth. Keep breathing. So come on up onto your knees and let's curl the toes under. Lift your heart up so your hands are lifted off the earth. You're sitting on your feet. Come all the way up, Rebecca. Yeah. Okay, then come up onto your knees. All the way upright. Good. So we're going into camel. So you have a couple of choices here. We'll do it twice. No, we'll do it three times and that'll be our wheel. That'll be our bridge. So first, let's put our hands on our hips, and we're just gonna do the movement of the action of camel. <clears throat> so we're gonna squeeze our shoulders together, and we're gonna think about the top part of the sternum right here. We think about lifting the sternum, the top part of the sternum, straight up towards the sky. So squeeze the shoulders together, now lift that part up to the sky. So be careful not to jet the ribs out and sway the back. Keep tailbone under, lift sternum, Shoulders come together, touch your elbows to back behind you, touch them together. Now can you open your throat and look up? Now lift a little harder. So be mindful of your neck, how's your neck doing? Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep breathing. And release back into center. Maybe sit back on your feet a little bit, rest. Maybe come down onto the hands if you need to, whatever feels good. Okay, let's lift back up, prepare for our next camel. So we have a couple of choices. Hands on the sacrum or reach hands straight down. Maybe towards the backs of the knees or towards the leg, but don't hold on to the foot yet. Even if you can, don't do it yet. Okay, inhale, lift your chest, lift the sternum. And then reach back and keep lifting the chest up pelvis may come forward a pinch, but not way forward. Breathe into the belly. One, open your throat. Two, squeeze those shoulders back and lift your chest more. Three, four, five. Good. Inhale, come back up. Yes, good job. Rest in whichever way feels good to you. Let the body rest. Come on back up. All the way up. Let's take our right hand and let's go back and hold on to our ankle. So the toes are curled under. Now push your pelvis forward, bring left arm up and over. Breathe into the belly. One, keep pushing your pelvis forward. Two, Three, open your throat more, lift your chest. Four, five, exhale, release, beautiful. Relax, take a breath, and then we'll do the other side. So rest for just a second. Okay, all the way back up, let's do the other side. So lift, you may have to bend at the hips, bring your left hand back to the uh, left ankle or left heel. 
toes are curled under, then right arm comes up, push pelvis forward, lift chest, open up till you drop your head back. One, two, keep pushing pelvis forward, keep lifting chest. Three, four, five, six, outstanding. Very good, very good. Release, release. Good job, shake it out a little bit. So last uh, Tuesday, Tuesday we learned how to do um, headstand and a couple people had questions afterwards about the hand position. So we'll, we'll do it again today, but we're gonna do the hand position from seated. So come to whatever's comfortable seated. So interlace your fingers. So this is our, well, hold on, let me, let me back up. Bring your arms out to cactus. So goal post. So elbows are bent. Now you bring your elbows right in front of your shoulders. So that's your elbow position. Now interlace your fingers and open up your, the heels of your hand. Now bring the heel of the hand to the base of the head. Now tuck your chin. Elbows are still in line with the shoulder. Now tuck your chin and push the base of your head into your thumbs as hard as you can. So the strength of our arms and our hands is in the first two fingers and the thumbs. That's the part of the hand we're pushing into. Push hard, pull elbows forward, push hard. That is the action of headstand. That's what we're doing, okay? Are we really standing on our head? In the beginning, we're not putting any weight on, on our head. So in the beginning, I, I should be able to slide a piece of paper under your head between the head and the earth. Okay. So what we're doing is we're building up the shoulder strength and the shoulders are what's holding you in place. Now your head's gonna touch, it's going to, and you're gonna put weight on your head, but what we're doing is trying not to. Okay. So ultimately we build up the strength in the shoulders, we build up the strength in the back and in the neck so that eventually we can balance on our head and put our arms out to the side. But we can't do that now. If we tried to do that now, we'd all be in the emergency room. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're not doing that. Okay. So let's practice our headstand. Ready? So come to table. Now let's come to our forearms first. And just put, uh, well first let's hold on to our elbows. So hold on to your elbows. You should be able to actually wrap your fingers around your elbows. All right, now keep your elbows in place and bring your hands back out in front. Now look forward. And let's just move our shoulders a little bit because this is the strength that we're using. This is what we're gonna use for headstand. All right, now let's interlace our fingers. All right, now tuck your chin, push your forearm into the earth, push hard. Now bring the back of your head to your hands. You don't bring your hands to your head, you bring the back of your head to your hands. Tuck your chin harder so that you get the very back of your head. Okay. Now make sure your elbows didn't move. All right, now tighten up your shoulder. Okay, put your hands down on the earth. Hands down on the earth. Hands down all, all the way on the earth. Interlace your fingers. Uh-huh. Okay, now your forearms are on the earth. And the finger, the pinky fingers are on the earth. Pinky fingers are on the earth. Okay, now curl your toes under and lift your hips up to the sky. Forearms are pushing into the earth with all of your might. Now push the back of your head into your thumbs as hard as you can. Now can you just barely lift the crown of your head off the earth? Now push the back of your head into your hands. Keep walking your feet towards your elbows. Keep pushing and keep lifting at the same time. Breathe, breathe. When you've had enough, take child's pose. If your body wants more, keep pushing. Breathe and relax. Good. Take child's pose. and that every day you should be in headstand in a few months. Taking some nice deep breaths. Let the body
body rest. chest, give yourself some loving. Rock a little bit, massage your back. Okay, now plant your feet flat on the earth. So you have to do some hip scooching to make this get into the right part of the spine. So reach your arms out to the side. Now lift your pelvis up off of the earth. Now scoot your hips all the way over to the right. Don't move your shoulders, but lift, move your pelvis all the way over to the right. Now put, the, put your hips down on the earth. Now bring your knees together and bring your knees all the way over to the left side. There you go. Knees go to the left, hips go to the right. There you go, perfect. So bring your knees up kind of high towards your shoulder or towards your left hand so that you feel a twist in the thoracic spine, the upper back. If all the pressure is in the lower back, um, see if you can get your hips more to the right and see if you can get your knees up a little higher. So the, this posture should be relaxing. It should be restorative. If you feel like you're struggling in any part of it, are you holding yourself in position? Then try to release those muscles. Try to relax those muscles. There should be no effort, no work, no work at all in this posture. What can you do to make it better? Look over your right shoulder, breathe deeply down into the belly. Scoot your hips over to the left, knees go to the right. Look over your left shoulder, I mean, yeah, yeah, your left shoulder. Breathe into the belly. Let the body relax.
chest. Give yourself some loving. If there's anything else your body needs, go ahead and do it. Any other movement, any other stretch, anything at all, go ahead and do it and then make your way to Shavasana. stillness when you're ready, finding comfort, being supported by the earth. Closing the eyes, breathing in and out through the nose, down into the belly, letting the body relax. breath is through the nose down into the belly. The energetic breath, imagine breathing in through the tips of your fingers and out of the tips of your toes. Start moving your arms and moving your legs. <clears throat>
to your chest. When you're ready, roll over to your right side. And let's take three slow deep breaths together. Inhale to the count of four, exhale to the count of six. Inhaling in one. Exhale. Inhale two. Start making your way up to seated, facing knee, comfortable seated position. Turn your palms up and receiving. Now let's go ahead and bring index to thumb. So the tip of the index finger to the tip of the thumb. Sit up tall. Um, separate your teeth and put the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And close your eyes and look to the center of your forehead, your third eye. Breathe through your nose down into your belly. A gentle smile on the face. bringing your hands together at heart center. Thank your body for all of its hard work. It's in love and gratitude. Inhale up, touch the sky. Oh, exhale to heart center. Repeat silently to yourself, I am healthy and strong. My body heals quickly and easily. Inhale up. 